Good day grade 6 learners, and welcome to our happy mathematics class. Please click the subscribe button and like this video. Thank you. Hi grade 6, magandang araw sa inyong lahat. In this lesson, we will be solving routine or non-routine problems involving multiplication without or with addition or subtraction of fractions and mixed fractions using appropriate problem solving strategies and tools. Last time, I've already discussed with you the steps on how to solve a word problem. This time, we will proceed immediately with the example. So here is the problem, sample problem. You have 24 one half kilograms of rice and you want to give one fourth of it to your neighbor. How many kilograms of rice you will give will you give to your neighbor? So what are the given facts in the problem? We have 24 one half kilograms of rice and one fourth of it is to be given to your neighbor. And how about the thing being us? The problem is asking for the kilograms of rice to be given to the neighbor or the weight of the rice to be given to the neighbor. And then what operation should be used? So we are going to get one fourth of 24 one half. And the operation that is to be used should be multiplication. So here is the mathematical sentence. We have 24 and one half times one fourth. Before we can multiply, we need to convert this 24 and 1 half into an improper fraction. And that is equivalent to 49 over 2. How did we get 49 over 2? Ganito. 2 times 24 is equal to 48. And then 48 plus 1 is equal to 49. And then copy the denominator. Times 1 fourth. So now let us multiply. 49 times 1 is equal to 49. And 2 times 4 is equal to 8. So our product is 49 over 8. But our final answer should be in mixed form. So we need to convert this. That is that is equivalent to 6 and 1 8. How did we get 6 and 1 8? Ganito po. 49 divided by 8 is equal to 6, remainder 1, and then copy the denominator, 8. Ulitin natin, 49 divided by 8 is equal to 6, siya yung whole number, meron siyang remainder na 1, siya yung numerator, and copy the denominator, 8. So our final answer is 6 and 1 over 8. Therefore, you are going to give 6 and 1 8 kilograms to your neighbor. Let us now try to solve this second example. You bought 96 cookies and keep one fourth to yourself. How many cookies will you give to your friends if you want to share the rest of the cookies? The given in the problem are 96 cookies that you bought and the one for it that you're going to keep to yourself. And we are asked to compute for the number of cookies that you will be give that you will be giving to your friends. And then the operation that we are going to use is multiplication and subtraction. So here is our mathematical sentence. We have 96 times one fourth. That is the same as 96 over 1 times 1 over 4. Kasi sabi natin noon, lahat ng whole numbers ay may denominator na 1. So let us multiply. 96 times 1 is equal to 96. And 1 times 4 is equal to 4. So we have 96 over 4. Simplifying this further, we are going, we, we are going to get 24. Saan nakuha si 24? Bakit walang fraction? Kasi po, if you divide 96 by 4, 96 divided by 4 is equal to 24. Exactly. Exacto po kasi siya. Kaya ang ating sagot ay full number. Now, this is just the first step. Itong 24 na to, 
this is the number of cookies that you're going to keep for yourself. Ang tinatanong ay, kung ilan ang ibibigay mo sa iyong mga friends. So, paano natin yun makukuha? We need to subtract this 96 cookies to 24. So, we have 96 minus 24. So, we have 6 minus 4, that is 2. And 9 minus 2, that is 7. So, the answer is 72. Therefore, you will give you will give 72 cookies to your friends. Okay po? That's all for today, grade 6. Thank you for listening and mabuhay kayong lahat.